What's going on guys? I'm Justin Swanshaw. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I want to go ahead and start off by saying I apologize that I have been slacking on posting videos, trying to get it out there on a timely uh, fashion, but we have a lot of work going on with the construction company right now. As most of y'all know, if y'all have watched at least 85% of these videos, y'all will know that work comes before racing. But we've been doing a lot of repair jobs, uh, tires changing. We got to drop a transmission out of this truck right here because the rear main seal is broken the back of the uh, back of the engine and it's leaking a bunch of oil. So I do apologize. We've been working a lot here lately, but I'm, already, I'm about to get back on schedule to start posting more and uh, bringing y'all more action. This video here is going to be a little bit different. I have been waiting for this day uh, for about... A full year now uh, most of y'all know that I wrecked in no prep Kings last year season three we wrecked I had the original aftermath 2002 Camaro went out there smacked the wall well we are on TV tonight boys Discovery Channel little country Justin Swanstrom and most of y'all have not know I go by little country back in my younger days I'm a little bit fatter now but uh that was my nickname growing up big country that's my dad but uh me big daddy Brian Eric uh big country we're all going to be on discovery channel night they did a quick segment it's uh, going to be a little bit longer than I thought it would be it's awesome I'm loving it but uh we're actually on national television boys so we're going to head up in the house because we just finished getting done everything out here we're gonna go ahead and set a camera up and I'm gonna let y'all see what is on the Discovery Channel tonight. And then we're gonna follow it up with another video of me and dad, big country sitting down. We're basically gonna rewatch it with y'all and talk y'all through everything. And also the wreck, we're gonna be talking through the wreck. This is actually the first time I'm gonna get to see it from different angles because I do know that the production crew got every kind of angle for it. There is actually an angle inside the car where you see me get knocked out. I am out conscious. I am just laying there. So I do want to see this. I have not seen it yet, but we're going to go ahead and announce and uh, hopefully y'all enjoy this vlog and make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep on sharing boys. Let's keep on growing. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. A brand new racer to no prep Kings racing, Justin Swanstrom, also known as Will Country, came to several grudge nights. I put the cocktail lieutenant back in right now. I want to like that first race off. Early in the season, he even beat Kai Kelly twice, taking ten thousand dollars from the seasoned MPK veteran. Another good race. That pay you. Luke <laughs> Country is coming out to season four, but his journey at Grudge Night turned out to be a rough one. We had to have the whole car ready by Tuesday. So we pulled the motor out, transmission converter, rear gear, shocks. This is a bare just body and a chassis. They wrapped the whole car in eight and a half hours. Got the whole car completely done. We started throwing everything back together. I found out that my bell housing does not fit inside the chassis, so I had to cut it all out. I also found out after that my rear gear doesn't fit inside the, the center section, or the center section don't fit inside the rear chunk. So uh, we had to shove it in there, take yeah, some bro. take some washers off. We put some uh, we put some silicone on the bolts. We just push the gear on so we can see where it was hitting on the rear, and we cut holes. <laughs> we cut through the rear box. And, so we had a lot of get done, but we got everything going, and then it's never easy, man. And then he drove he drove by himself, but he drove 23 hours to get up here. And then me and Brian we had to work, so we flew in. So what you're saying is. I don't need to bet on you this weekend, but after this weekend, you're probably out. Oh, yeah. good. This next race is coming up. Trust me, I'll be tested. I may, I, I may get lucky here. I'm, well, I'm next a firm race, believer. You've hey, you got lucky before. Hey, I'm a firm believer if you struggle this much get to a race, you yeah. run good. Yeah. It's when everything goes smooth. It's when yeah. up. Maybe that's how we've been doing good, dude. Because our whole life is struggling. I'd say everything. With a race-ready car, Little Country was ready to head to the line in Joliet. And he didn't make it easy on himself either. He went after a heavy hitter, Kayla Morton, so he could see how he would stack up against a big-name no prep racer. Not to waste any time on the light and 
cut a good tree and got the jump on Little Country. It didn't win the race, though. Little Country sped around her. And even though he blew the scoop off his car, he was still able to get to the finish line first. We ran Caleb Morton first round, had a little backfire on the intake. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't think it was going to be the starting line, but I did make it out about 150, 200 foot before it decided to backfire. It left good. Yeah. yeah I was I was messed up. I was looking for amber lights. That's why I didn't even see the green. You were fine, Kevin. Just left. I know, but I'm just saying I didn't see the green. But it, it looked like it was pulling hard too. Oh, it looked good. Or something. Do what? Oh yeah, we got. Yeah. Sure. I think what happened is when the lockup came on, it pulled it down. I'm gonna go look at it, but it was Beller, man. It was way fat on fuel. That thing don't want the fuel that Musa motor wants. Back in New Hampshire, Little Country took on Lizzie Musi in an early season grudge match. This is when Team Nola just got started and would go on to become a wrecking machine for many races to come. New Hampshire's track was sketchy and was proving difficult for every driver. But Little Country knew if he could lay down a straight pass, everyone would take notes. race was too close to call at the starting line and required track officials to examine which cones got hit near the finish line. Little Country and Lizzie launched off the line, but around mid-track, Little Country had a backfire lost power. He stayed with it and saw Lizzie hit the cone by the finish line. But unfortunately for Little Country, not only did he have engine problems, he also lost the race. Lizzie hit the thousand foot cone, which meant she was still in her lane at the eight mile marker. A tough loss for Little Country, but he'd have many more chances to get a win. Then in Colorado, Little Country got a chance to race his way in to a 32 car invitational during grudge night. And this made grudge night even more important. So, hey man, you excited? You know, first no break king race? I mean, dude, this this is this is it, man. I mean we're finally, we're finally stepping up in the world. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm happy about it. Okay. Well, we're gonna teach them how to race this weekend. So we don't want to muscle them up. Show them a little dirty grudge style on how you do it, you know so what I mean? Show them how to race. Yeah. What, if, yeah. Yeah. what if we win the race your way in and the 40k? Come on, we'll be the we'll be the most hated people on the property. I'm going to 40k. I think I'll, I think I'm gonna take a couple days before I get back in. I'm gonna take a little bit. Of we'll be the most hated people on the property. 40k. I'm running up that hill in my underwear. We're the new kids on the block. I want to make a name for myself and uh, for my team and show everybody what we can do, all the hard work. we got a lot of heart, got a lot of good members on my team, and uh, I believe i got the best team in the game. If they f around and let us win, our race our way in, let me get one or two hits where I can get a tune-up. Little Country had experience racing big names during grudge races, so he was fully prepared to take on Larry Parson. And whoever won this race had a golden ticket into the main event and a chance at $40,000. Break 